Hello and welcome to Pilot Mom. My name is Katrina. So it is winter here in Canada and winter plus aviation equals the dirty D word, disruptions, flight disruptions. And these can cause the other dirty D word, delays. So there are three categories of flight disruptions and they are situations within the airline's control such as overbooking seats and crew scheduling, situations within the airline's control but required for safety like unexpected malfunctions, and situations outside the airline's control including natural phenomena aka weather and other things like passenger medical emergencies or collisions with wildlife. But when they happen, why do they get so bad? Well, let's cover some winter delays. The first one is ground de-icing and anti-icing. This process takes time, and sometimes there are long lineups for airplanes to have their turn to de-ice. And we also have to abide by something called the holdover time guidelines, which estimates how long anti-icing fluids will be effective. In a worst case scenario where there are ground delays, and your airplane has exceeded the holdover time, you'd have to go back to the central de-icing facility for another spray. So now let's say that this plane has been stuck on the ground doing the old de-icing dance, it could now cause a delay for the next passengers that the plane is supposed to pick up in that destination. This is called the knock-on effect. It is kind of like the snowball effect that the flights can continue to be affected for the foreseeable future. And that's until another plane and crew can be sent in to help out or if that aircraft is scheduled to be put on the ground for a little while where it can catch up. Airlines are expected to provide reliable evidence to show they took all reasonable measures to minimize impacts. Another reason for delays is of course weather. There are some very strict rules that we have to follow when it comes to flying in different weather conditions. Different airplanes have different allowances and instruments that they can fly in and with and your pilots even have to be approved for certain approaches. So with the right mix of any of these scenarios, you may not be able to take off or land, causing a diversion. And don't forget that it could be sunny blue skies where you are, but it might be really crummy weather where the plane is coming from. And so these ones aren't necessarily winter delay reasons, but the industry is facing a pilot shortage and airport and airline staff shortages. And as I previously noted, these would be within the airline's control. Ramp and gate agents are being spread thin and your pilots have certain rest lengths they legally need to abide to. So if they have a day of flying that goes really late, it could affect their next day's schedule. Now they need to find new pilots to fly and sometimes they can't. In August of 2021, Air Canada had a flight that landed at its destination nearly 16 hours later than it was scheduled to due to crew shortages. And Air Canada was ordered to pay $1,000 to some passengers. From my 12 years in the industry, I know that one piece of feedback that passengers give is they wish they were better informed during disruptions. And I know sometimes it feels like your crew is withholding information from you, but sometimes there's so much happening behind the scenes in operations that your crew is also waiting for some of that information. So with all of this being said, disruptions are an unfortunate, frustrating, plan altering part of air travel. We dislike delays as much as you do. And a lot of crew members actually commute from one city to another to get to work. So it certainly affects their lives too. My best advice is to pack a little patience and where you can give yourself a grace period before attending an event or going back to work after a trip or going to an important appointment. And I know it sucks for me to have to advise this because flights should stay on schedule, but they don't always. Be kind to your pilots and your flight attendants. Be patient with your check-in agents and your gate agents. Give a big old thumbs up to the hardworking ramp agents working in all sorts of conditions. Be nice to your seatmates. We are all in this together, happy and hopefully on time flying.